teacher, Maribel Palmera. Now I'm going to show to you how to make a useful placemat. Here's the objective. First, to make useful improvised placemats. Second, to develop skills in making placemat. Third, to demonstrate steps in doing placemat with the use of back of stitch procedure. Let's get started! Here are some materials needed. Here it is! Here's I have an improvised pin cushion with needle and three threads, four actually, and we need a improvised tailor chalk and some needle, scissors, and tape measure. And useful fabric or cloth. First, prepare all of the materials needed. Second, choose a clean and comfortable working place. Decide on the size you want. I want a rectangular placemat. I don't need to make it flat. that the easy to sew the fabric with use of backstitch. I will mark this this part now I'm gonna cut this one far edge of the fabric. This is my output a improvised place now. Before I end this video, with God all things is possible. Thank you classmates and teachers for watching. Keep safe!